Hey y'all, it's Jamila from Color Me Crafty and Buy Pink. And I have another tutorial for you um, using Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to show you how to take a tech, take a shape and turn it into text using um, Adobe Illustrator. I actually, in the first part of the video, forgot to tell you guys how to um, change your colors once you get your shape made or your text shape shape text made so in the second part of the video when i do the apple i go over exactly how to make the colors change because they won't change without a few extra steps if you're new here welcome go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're back again still welcome and when you get done watching the video, if you could go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and drop me a comment below. Let's get into it. Now you can do this with any shape, but I'm just gonna use the um, ellipse tool for now for the purposes of this tutorial but you have a couple shape options here um, in Adobe Illustrator, but I'm just gonna use the ellipse. And I'm gonna make a circle. And you make it as big, as big or as small as you want. And then from there, you're gonna go here. And usually, for me at least, depending on how you have your workspace set up, the shaper tool is um, selected. I'm going to choose my pencil tool and then I'm going to take my pencil and make just some squiggly lines on here. You can't see them, it doesn't matter. But the next step is to select two of those paths. So what I selected was my squiggly line and then my ellipse, my circle and go over here to your pathfinder if you don't see the pathfinder you can go up to windows and click on pathfinder and it should pop open but like i said select your circle and one of your lines and go over here to pathfinder and you want to divide and then you are going to do the same thing whoops the same thing with the bottom lines And now you see we have three sections to our circle. The next step is to type some text. Um, I need three lines of text, so I'm just going to type mother knows best. And you want separate lines of text. I'm going to ungroup. Actually, I'm gonna move these in front first, and then I'm gonna ungroup by going up here to object and clicking on ungroup. Next, we're going to select the text and the layer that it's supposed to go with. So, I have mother and the top layer selected. Go up here to object, go all the way down to envelope distort, and then we wanna make with top object. And you just repeat that step. Now the, the round is is awesome to use if like you're making keychains or things like that. And I might have made my lines a little bit too squiggly, but you get the point. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is pull in um, a shape that's not a typical shape, which is like not a square or a circle or diamond, you know, 
they aren't the shapes that we draw every day or use every day. I've actually seen um, an apple used a lot. So I'm gonna find an image of an apple and pull it in. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and group these. You select everything, go up to object and group. And then I'm gonna turn that layer off and pull in the apple that I grabbed. So here's my apple. And anytime you are importing an image that is not a um, already an SVG, you have to convert it into a vector uh, graphic. So we're gonna trace this image right here in um, Adobe Illustrator. And to do that, you just go up to image trace. We have three colors, so I'm gonna click on three colors and it turned it into two colors. Oh, there's four colors because I, did, I didn't take into account the white background. So I'm gonna go back up here, choose six colors, and then click on expand. I'm gonna get rid of this white background and what is that? I'm gonna combine those two. So say I was a teacher and you were making me a gift. So we're gonna put the word miss here in the leaf and then my name here in the apple. So go ahead and type out your text. And I'm actually gonna choose a different font for this. And I find that the thicker fonts tend to work better. So I'm gonna use something that is a not real thick, but just a little bit thick, if that makes any sense. So let's try this, cheerful, cheerful girl. Now, next step for um, your text is to convert it into a path. So to convert your text into a path, Click on it, go up to object, expand, and then command eight, or go up here to object, compound path, and make. Same thing over here. So now I have my text, but we know that the text needs to go behind the apple. So I'm gonna move the apple backwards, I mean, I'm gonna move the apple to the front and then um, ungroup everything. Now I'll select my leaf and the words and go up here to object, envelope distort and make top object and do that again with the remaining text. Now let's get some colors in here. So now, it looks like an apple, but it doesn't look like an apple, right? So now what we wanna do is make this look a little bit more like an apple. Like you can add an um, outline or an offset and keep it like that, or you can change the colors. I'm just gonna change the colors of what I have here. To change the color on an item, you go over here to the color pane and double click and Go ahead and add the color now as you can see nothing changed here so what i need to do is expand this again so because i turned it into an envelope distort it is a lot like when you initially type text and want to turn it into an svg you have to expand it and make it into a path before you can um, do anything with it so or before you can save it. But with the envelope distort, for you to make any changes like colors um, and outlines and things like that, you have to re-expand it and make it a path again. So I'm gonna go up here to object, envelope distort and expand. And that expanded my text into a compound path. So now I can um, change the color and it actually changes. 
So same thing here. Object, envelope distort, and expand. And I can change this color now. And I'm just gonna change this because it looks like a really weird gray. I don't like it. And that's how you convert text on, into a shape. Thanks for watching.